I remember after me and this girl did the devil's tango. I remember I ended up hearing her say, wait a minute, did you hear that noise? Uh, no, what was it? I think it was a door opening. Wait, I think my boyfriend's home. Wait, what? Your boyfriend? And that's when things went to absolute chaos. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name is Bubba, and welcome to a crazy but insane story that I do not want to happen to any of you guys. Because this story all takes place back in my grade 11 year, and in grade 11, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I was a major player. No joke, I had an insane roster of girls that I would do almost on the daily and maybe here and there I would take a couple breaks but almost daily and I remember one time my grade 11 year specifically there was a girl that I ended up meeting one time when I was hanging out with a group of friends I was hanging out with a group of friends at a park because we were all just walking around just chilling and I remember as we were chilling at the park we ended up seeing another group of girls now this other group of girls I remember me and my group we ended up kind of like passing by them and they ended up starting a conversation with us so we ended up talking to them as well well. And as we were talking to them, I remember the one girl that I ended up looking at, she was a hot blonde girl that looked outstanding. And I knew in my mind, yo, I gotta get that girl's number. So I remember I tried to strike a conversation by saying, hey, so like, are you always like around the park or like, what's the plan here? Um, not usually, no. I mean, like my friends wanted to come, but like, I kind of just followed along with them. Yeah, no, I get that. I mean, like, to be fair, you always got to bring the hot one of the group. Am I right? At that moment, she started laughing and all her friends started looking at me really, I guess, upset. But since this girl laughed, they were also upset at her for kind of, I guess, agreeing with laughter. I remember I basically kept talking to this girl and her friends ended up slowly walking away to the point where it was just me and her. And I remember me and her, we started like talking and basically flirting until I ended up asking her the main question that I usually ask girls just to make sure I don't get into any trouble. And that is, so I was just curious, like, do you have like a boyfriend or anything? Oh, uh, uh no. You sounded unsure about that. Oh, no, I don't. I mean, like I was talking to someone, but like things didn't work out. So like I'm single. Oh, okay. Well, cool. I mean, like, can I get your number? At that moment, I remember me and her started exchanging numbers. And that's when one of her friends ended up running up to her saying, uh, what are you doing? Nothing. I'm just giving him my number. What? Why are you giving him your number? She sounded really upset to the point where she ended up grabbing her friend and taking her away, which to be fair, most ugly girls always take away the hot friend so they don't, you know, feel alone. So I thought it was one of those cases. But boy, was I wrong. Because I remember after that day of meeting them at the park, me and all the guys started talking about how we like, you know, met some girls and started basically like, you know, flexing to each other how we spoke to a chick but then me i remember i decided to stay quiet and i just started messaging the girl right away i ended up texting her saying hey like it was super cool seeing you at the park so your friend had to take you away like that oh it's okay honestly like she does that a lot but like we should definitely hang out sometime uh yeah totally down okay cool and from there i am not joking me and this girl we almost texted every single day like it was actually insane how often we would speak to the point where i would even turn down some of my roster that i had back in high school just so i can talk to this girl all night and I remember there was one day after like almost two weeks of talking to her where she ended up actually FaceTiming me. And FaceTime, in my opinion, is a big step to pulling girls, okay? Like, no joke. If you guys want to pull a girl, try to FaceTime her. And if you don't have an iPhone, get one. But going on with the story, I remember this girl asked me to FaceTime and I ended up FaceTiming her. And me and her, we ended up having like a long conversation. So me and her, we ended up passing out over FaceTime. I know that sounds super cringe, but passing out over FaceTime, okay, for me is like an actual act. Accident, okay, like I don't actually try to pass out with a girl on FaceTime and pre-plan it like those weirdos do online But I remember I ended up passing out on the phone with her on FaceTime and the next morning things got really weird Because I remember waking up to a person's voice that wasn't the girl It sounded like some dude and I was so confused to the point where I was like, hello, who's there? And that's when instantly I just see the phone hang up I was so confused on who was with her But then she ended up sending me a text like 10 minutes later saying, oh, sorry, my dad walked in I didn't want him to see me on FaceTime. Oh Oh, it's all good. I understand. When in reality, I wasn't really sure if it was actually her dad because I don't know how many dads call their daughter babe, but this one did. So weirdo alert, but that's not the point. Going on from there, I remember a couple days end up going by and I slowly start to hear from this girl less and less. I was really confused until one day I was at the mall with a couple of friends of mine and I ended up seeing her alone at the mall sitting down. I was super confused. So I ended up walking up to her saying, hey, like you haven't been answering my messages that much. Is everything good? Oh, Bubba, you're here. Uh, hi. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, nothing. I was just here with a couple of friends. I saw you sitting here. What's up? Oh, um, uh, nothing. I'm just shopping with my dad. Um, he's over there. She ends up pointing at some old guy that was like kind of like sitting in the food court. And that's when I looked at her saying, uh, why aren't you sitting with him? Oh, I have like, you know, just some stuff I have to do on my phone. And I just sat over here because it's nicer. Uh, I should probably go see him. Uh, okay. Well, I'll see you, I guess. I remember she ends up basically walking away from me and she ends up hanging out with her dad. 
dad or who I thought was her dad at least because what ends up happening next was mind-blowing because I remember a couple days go by and I barely hear from this girl it got to the point where we wouldn't even talk but one night specifically I remember I ended up getting a text on my phone from her saying hey are you awake right now uh yeah what's up uh I was just wondering like I'm really in the mood and like do you want to like maybe come over uh yeah sure I I can if you want okay cool here's my address and she sent me where she was living at so I remember I ended up getting in my car I ended up driving to her place and when I got there I remember me and her right as I walked through the door to her apartment she ends up starting to make out with me and yeah one thing leads to another we end up doing the devil's tango and I remember as I'm passed out laying down beside her we ended up laying down beside each other for like a good like I want to say 20 to 30 minutes and that's when this girl ends up looking at me saying oh like do you plan on like going back soon what uh you mean going back home yeah okay uh yeah I, I can leave right now if you want and that's when she ends up hearing a noise I remember her face so vividly because she ended up like having this like crazy like shock face to the point where she looks at me and says oh my goodness I think my boyfriend's home wait what your boyfriend and that's when I remember she ends up looking at me and she's like okay um real quick remember that dad I told you about the dad you told me about you mean your dad yeah well he's actually my boyfriend and I'm living with him right now and like he cannot know I had you over well like what do you want me to do I already told my parents that I was staying at a friend's house I don't know but you'll figure it out I remember she ends up basically pushing me out of her window which is insane because she lives on like a third floor apartment but luckily like right as I got out the window I saw this pipe that led down to like the bottom floor so that's what I ended up doing I ended up basically climbing down this thing as if I was Robin Hood and right as I got to the floor I remember she ends up throwing my backpack outside and that's when I ended up leaving I ended up getting inside my car and I ended up sitting there thinking okay well I can't go home because my parents will figure it out that I went to go hang out with a chick uh you know what I'm just gonna stay the night here and that's when I ended up passing out inside my car for the night I can't believe this girl made me basically sleep on the street but like honestly I don't blame her if I was trying to hide something from my significant other it would probably be out the window as well but I remember as the night flew by the next morning finally rises and I ended up waking up in my car it was boiling hot and I remember I ended up looking out my window and I saw the girl walking out of her apartment and looking around she ended up looking around and she saw my car and walked up to me and said Bubba are you still here what are you doing why didn't you just go home well I told you I can't I told my mom I was at a friend's place okay well my boyfriend's still at home so you gotta go yeah speaking of the boyfriend when were you planning on telling me about that well I mean you didn't ask what do you mean I didn't ask I asked you the first day I met you oh well I mean I didn't lie like you know we were going through a situation what you know how dumb you are and at that moment I ended up just basically rolling up my window and driving away honestly some girls are absolutely wild but I'm gonna be honest what would you guys do in that situation would you guys tell the boyfriend because if you guys wouldn't and decide to keep things low-key like I did then fall for more embarrassing stories just like this one peace out guys